Hi everyone, welcome back to 2020 Spirit of Giving. This is craft number eight. Okay, so in craft number eight, you're gonna be using this um, cooling rack as well as you wanna look for your bag that says number eight, okay? So we're gonna just open this quick. You can twist tie it. I'm gonna actually cut mine. I'm gonna move this to the side just for a second. And I'm gonna dump my bag out. I have a few things and, and each bag is gonna be slightly different just so that you're aware. Um, in this bag I have some string, I have a ribbon, I have these little pennants. They look like this, okay? I have a bunch of paper clips and little clothespins different sizes and there's a bunch of them, okay? So the first thing I want you to do is on this particular craft, you're going to be using your scissors and you're going to be using um, your ribbon and some glue right at the moment, okay? So you wanna take your um, cooling rack and if you have a tag, which most of you probably do, um, I tried to pull off some of them, but I couldn't get all of them. So just trim it off and take the little clear plastic part off and put that to the side. Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to take your, um, your little twine slash ribbon and just tie it to the top where you would like to have it on your cooling rack. You can put it really anywhere you decide. Um, I'm going to put mine right at the top and I'll show you. You can have your cooling rack either direction. You can have it the long way, like this, or you can have it like this. I'm actually gonna put mine this way, and I'm tying a knot right here, and I'm gonna tie a knot right here. You can tie a knot here at this little part that sticks out, and here too if you want. But mine is a little bit shorter, so I'm gonna tie mine here and there, okay? So I'm gonna do a knot. And if you need help, just ask an adult if you need help tying your knot. I have to lay mine down so I can do it properly. I hope all of you are having a great day today. I know I am. I'm excited that we're doing all these crafts. It's pretty fun actually, don't you think? All right, so I am just finishing my knot right now. If you need to pause the video to do your knot, please do so, or your knots, I should say. I'm just going to, after I did my knots, I have a little excess here. I'm gonna trim those off. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna trim those so those are off. And I'll show you. See how it hangs? Okay. Now, I'm gonna put this to the side because we're done with this for this second, but I'm gonna show you the next thing that has to get done with this craft. Okay, pretty ribbon, I love it. I'm gonna lay it down in front of me. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to use a glue gun so that it is going to be um, quick. And my glue gun doesn't stretch very far, so I'm just going to um, show you what you would do with your regular glue, okay? Now, we talked about how it's important to line things up before we glue them, because it's easier to tell where things belong and what looks good and what doesn't. So please don't make the mistake of just gluing it at the beginning here and then gluing it as you go. Please line it up so that you know what looks good and what doesn't. So you want to spatially make sure that it, you're happy with it. You don't want to get stuck with a craft and you don't like how things look. So just lay, the, lay them out. Here's an example. All right, now if I just started to glue it, I might have a clump of them here and then this is spaced out a little bit weird, okay? So you want to make sure that you don't do that. You want to make sure that you line them up the way that you want them to be. So if they're evenly spaced, or the way that you're happy if you don't want them evenly spaced, that's up to you because this is going to be your, they call these pennants, if you're not aware. Um, these are little 
flags is another way to call them. So here's a way right now. I'm happy spatially where these are, okay? Now, what I would be doing is if I was going to be using my glue, I'd use any kind of glue that you were given, and I would take the glue, I would open the flag like this, and glue one side, including the ribbon, and then I would hold it tight and push it down so that it's flat. Now, this is something that's gonna take a few minutes to dry, so you wanna make sure that you put something on it, otherwise it's gonna pop open again. So you could use um, even some of the clips, the heavier clips. If you receive two of them, you could just put that on and just push them flat. Um, if I'm actually doing mine in my kitchen, things that come to mind are a little spice jar, put it on there, a spoon, you know, things that are a little bit heavier that you can just wash off afterwards on the bottom, on the base of it. Um, and then just have those dry and then that's going to be finished, okay? Now that's the only crafting that you're going to be doing. But the cool thing about this is that this, what we're doing is a memo board. So for me, I went around my house and I looked at little things that might be fun to put on my memo board. So I love, I love jewelry. I wear earrings and um, sometimes a necklace. Um, actually, I wear earrings every day. I love earrings. So I am going to use mine for earrings. I'm going to use mine for um, some stamps, maybe to hold some cute stickers and other things. So I completed one and I want to show you what mine looks like. So I'm just going to step out of the camera just for a second. I'll be right back. Just hold right there. I want to show you what I did with mine so that you guys can get the same idea. Okay, this is mine. I had a red ribbon. This is my penance dried. I took, can you see? I took my little clips and I clipped them just like that. I glued them. These are my extra um, paper clips. So if I want to hang something else, here's my stickers. I put some of my earrings. I love things that sparkle. Good vibes only. That's my picture. I have my earrings for Christmas. My little bows. My stamps. This is a pin. Here's some more earrings. And little smiley stickers. Now you can put post-it notes. You can put whatever you want in here. But this is mine. Now remember, you can also hold it this way. So if you have a really cool pair of glasses, like I have glasses, mine are reading glasses, they're not sunglasses, but you can take your sunglasses, put them on there. Let's pretend those are sunglasses, right? So this little memo board can be used for a ton of things, but you can hang your sunglasses, your jewelry, you can make it into you know little notes for yourself. Um, you know, in school you can say, oh, homework this day, big test. Um, you know, when you have a list of homework, things like that. And I have extra things ready to clip on. Okay? So this is mine. So that is craft number eight. On to craft number nine next. See you in a second.